I'm that person where I get immune to stuff. Like, I've been immune to depression for such a long time that I wouldn't even realize that I was depressed. <laughs> Depressed. Like my eyebrows came out really nice today, so that's a good, it's a good thing. I don't know. This morning I just woke up and I just felt a little sick. It ain't COVID. Okay. I just feel not. I don't feel sick. I feel out of it, and I'm just like, Ugh. but I need to film because I gotta keep serving y'all these looks, okay? And I love being on here. Like this is just like, this is my own little world. So it's like it kind of. It kind of, how do you say, eases my mind being on here and, you know, it's like a mental clearer in a way and, and I don't know how to say it. Y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about, y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about. But we're going to get right into this. Like I always say, I always say I'm getting to it because I don't like wasting no time. Time is very important. Time is the most valuable thing in the world, okay? So, yeah, we're not wasting no time. We'll get right into this. And I think I'm going to do, like, another fall, a uh, easy fall look today. I got some new makeup. My friend, she works on, um, she works at the World Trade Center. And I'm going to put my camera down a little bit because, okay. So, yeah, she works at the World Trade Center. And she, her, um, she works in the building with, like, Vogue and stuff and a bunch of other, like, huge magazines my friend got me some goodies and i'm gonna be showing these little goodies in this video so we're gonna get right into it we're gonna get right into the eyes i ain't gonna waste no time um i'm going to don't know what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna put i'm gonna prime them but not really prime i'm just gonna put some concealer on my eyes i don't want to put too much concealer because we don't need all that. Y'all, I'm just so all over the place with the brushes. Like, I literally just... I'm not good with brushes, y'all. I'm gonna need somebody to teach me how to, like, you know... Like, I know the brushes to use, but... I just don't be having time to look for the brush that I want to use for... I'm gonna zoom in, because I'm doing my eyes, y'all. But, yeah, like, I just don't be having time to look for the brushes that I'm when I need to use for specific things. So I just be grabbing any brush that I feel like will work for what I'm trying to do. Period. So I'm gonna use this like this fluffy brush here, you know, the blending brush, typical blending fluffy brush. And I'm going to grab I'm not sure okay basically I'm gonna use like a brown shade I think I would say to grab your bronzer and use that as like a shade. So, not a shade. Put that like in your crease and whatever, just to like bring some color, you know, in your in your um your crease and your outer crease. Bring some dimension. Not really fully dimension, but y'all know what I'm talking about. See, I already know the palette I always use, the Jaclyn Hill palette. Maybe it's because I'm tired because I was in my boyfriend's house and I didn't get no sleep. It's not even that, no, it's not that. It's not that. It's, that's not the reason why I didn't get no sleep. But I really didn't get any sleep at his house because, um, I don't know. It was a full moon yesterday, actually. Full moon, 1st of October. That is probably why I didn't get any sleep because, uh, I was just wide awake in the middle of the night. Like, just, like, uh, let me tell you, well, let me tell you what happened. It was the weirdest thing, yo. Okay, so... One thing, a lot, a lot of things y'all know about me, and I need to start being private. I need to start being more open to to y'all. Okay, so here's something about me that y'all did not know. Lisa is scared of the dark. That's that's just one of my biggest 
things. I'm scared of the dark. Demons in the dark. <laughs> and if you don't think demons is real, get your life together, okay? But yes, I'm so scared of the dark. The light's dark. I don't want to put that in existence. You know, not existence, but you know, I don't want to put that in my reality. I want to eventually get over that fear. Like, I've gotten over it a little bit, but it still comes and goes. Like, the dark is scary to me. I, I just, oh my God, I got to put that one on my hand. It's just scary to me. Like, I just don't like the dark, y'all. So, back to my story of what I was talking about. So, I'm going to grab a, um, a darker brown shade from the Jack the Hill palette, the... 24-7. I think it's 24-7. No. It's Chip. I'm going to grab Chip from the Jack of Hill palette. The second one. But yeah, so... I was sleeping. I fell asleep, you know. Slept good, you know. Then... These things just happen to me randomly. Like, I'm such a light sleeper to the point where I literally jump out my sleep. Like, my eyes open just like, I'll be knocked out. Knocked out. Like, mouth open, gone. And then I'll just be like, like, just randomly. I don't know. Like, it feels like just something just tells me to wake up. Like, I now just wake up. And that's what happened to me last night. In the middle of the night, my boyfriend's, you know, bed. And like, when I opened my eyes, my boyfriend's room is so dark. When I opened my eyes, y'all, I panicked. But I couldn't panic enough to like wake him up. I like, I didn't want to wake my boyfriend up. So like, I panicked, y'all. Like, oh my goodness. I'm sorry, y'all, taking me so long to pack this shit on because I'm clearly using the wrong brush. But it's okay. Okay, the shade is packed on. But yes, y'all, I panicked, though. Yo, when I opened my eyes, y'all, no way. I was just like, whoa, is that dark in here? Why is it that dark in here? Like, you know when you open your eyes in the dark, you know it's dark when you lift your hand up in front of your face and you can't see your fucking hand. Okay? That's when you know, okay, it's dark and... I know that it was just that dark. I couldn't see anything. Like, so I literally, I grabbed his phone, y'all. I grabbed my boyfriend's phone and put on his light, and just put it on his window, just to like have the light shining. Cause I don't like the dark. So like, just being in the dark yesterday, I could not sleep. Like, I just couldn't. I didn't. Know. Sorry, I must have just walked in. But yeah, being in the dark yesterday, I just couldn't sleep. For y'all for y'all who don't know, my setup is literally in my living room. I know that sounds crazy, but my living room is big enough. Like I was saying, yeah, my living room is huge enough to have my setup in here. My mom is nice enough to allow me to have my setup in here. So, yeah. So, we're going to do the other eye. But yeah, so, I think that was why I was not able to sleep yesterday. I'm using the right oh, I am using the right bitch. That was why I wasn't able to sleep yesterday because I woke up in the dark and I was just like over it. I don't like the dark, y'all. I hate it. That was why I was just wasn't able to sleep, and that's why I feel this way today, right now. Okay, both the eyes. Oh, they look good. So. My good friend, I think I'm, I'm gonna wait to put this on. We're about to get onto the face now. The face. Prime. I bought the Fenty Primer, the Pro Filler Fenty Primer. And I was, I don't normally prime y'all because I just used to feel like primer was just irrelevant. But now that I'm like really out here and wear my makeup for a long time and makeup's a big deal to me i think i should use primer especially because i'm doing it on youtube doing makeup on youtube eventually people are going to get disturbed that i'm not using primer so i don't even know how much primer i'm supposed to use maybe this is a little bit too much but you're just gonna go with it okay this is the soft matte one by the way but yeah um this primer feels nice. It doesn't feel like a primer. It feels like a moisturizer. Maybe I need more. Let's 
see how this shit really worked though. Because, you know, I need the full effect, Rihanna. Foundation. One of the little goodies that my good friend so happened to be able to get me was the Beauty Blender Foundation. This is the shade 4, 4.20, 4.20. And I hope that this is my shade. Like, I like this though because it locks it unlocks so you like, you know, it won't waste product. If you put it in your bag, it won't bust open or whatever because it will be locked. So I like this. I hope this is my shade because I'm going to be mad. Like, no, you didn't, Lydia. Um, this could work. This could work. This could definitely work. It might be a little too light, but definitely can darken it up with my contour. So this can work. Thank you, Lily. It look a little light on camera, y'all, but I promise y'all. You know, we already know foundation. Foundation oxidizes and etc. See, look, it matches. Oh, yeah, I wanted to use my mic. Oh, my God. Should I plug my mic in? I should. I don't, honestly don't care. Y'all know me. I'll plug that shit in right now. Okay, y'all. So, I have my mic on. My camera is trying to find me. So, that's... I just... I found out that when my camera is trying to find me, that's when it's, like, jumping around, trying to focus on one thing. Do I sound different, y'all? Okay, so, y'all, this mic I had... I had bought this mic, and it just wasn't connecting to my camera like the little cook adapter piece i was just like fuck it and then left it the way it was and i just stopped using the mic i just bought a road mic yesterday but kind of we really didn't have to this foundation it oxidized it's a little it's more on a pink y'all know i'm more of a yellow orange it's more on a pink no i'm more of a yellow a golden and it's more on a pinkish oranges type of vibe but we gonna get it Okay, so I'm gonna use my regular L'Oreal Inflammable Full Wear Concealer in Almond. But yeah, I wanna get more, like, how do you say, personal. Like, people were telling me on my Instagram, like, you know, let us know, like, you know, how your life is and everything. But I'm that person, like, if my life is not the way I want it, where I need it to be at, I'm not really open to you know showing that because it's like but people need to see the process so i understood it when my friend was telling me that on telling me that like girl you know people gotta see the process they gotta see the glow up they gotta see all of that so i understood it but right now i live with my mother and my little sister not my little sister she's a grown ass woman but you know my younger sister and my YouTube setup is in the living room. And this is not how I want my YouTube career to go. But I'm that person where I I can make it work. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll make anything work. I won't complain about anything. You know, I have my backdrop. I have my lights. I have my good-ass camera. I have a mic. Got a lap I have a laptop as well. So, it's like, you know, what, what I can't complain about. What do I need to complain for? You know what I'm saying? Like, but, um... It is a, it does get a little like how do you say depressing just to know that it can be better than this and you know I gotta do extra hard work to get videos out because of my environment that I'm in and you know my life how you say my life can my living conditions it's a little bit harder to produce a lot of videos and the videos I want to do like I want to do morning routines I want to do skincare routines I'm gonna do hauls and the way my living conditions are I'm not able to do and provide you guys with all those videos so I'm saying like basically once once I sorry I gotta grab my brush once I were to move once I move into my own apartment have my own space but yeah i moved out before i moved out when i was 18 years old and i absolutely loved it i didn't want to come back but um who i would choose chose who you choose to roommate with if y'all want to see how that situation went with for me here's the link 
it'll be on either side my worst roommate horror story god it was just please know who you about to move in with who you about to roommate with please make sure you know them because if you don't it's gonna be if y'all want to see how that went for me the link is right there and yeah so i moved out when i was 18. i love the fact that it's by myself but just the way how it went just wasn't you know so i've been like ready to move out and be on my own you know and provide for myself and you know get be you know extra independent i'm already independent i already take care of myself but to be like on my own completely like paying my own bills i like having responsibilities and taking care of those responsibilities it's just a virgo with me like i don't know right now i ended up moving back into well i was talking about the story i ended up moving back into my mom's apartment and i've been here ever since but yeah so that's why i haven't really been able to provide y'all with the videos because trust me I have the ideas like you know what I'm saying like I be wanting to do a lot but I'm just not able to because of my living conditions and you know all that's going to change very 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 soon for me and you know soon I'll just be out here just I can't wait to do a house tour i can't wait to decorate my house y'all if y'all don't know i love interior design interior design is just like a woosa for me like i want to i want to get into school for that i want to go to college for that and you know i just love furniture like just just those type of things just it just makes me so happy like having a cozy place that you sleep your head at you put your head down every day and just be comfortable and just you know you live in an environment one thing that people don't know your living environment has a huge 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 effect on you mentally emotionally like it was times where i felt really 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 depressed because of my living situations and just you know felt like i was just stuck couldn't do anything and i'm that person where I get immune to stuff like I've been immune to depression for such a long time that I wouldn't even realize that I was depressed you know what I'm saying like until I sat down and be like damn like I lashed out I was crying for no reason I've been crying a lot you know I'm just so immune to things that are I'm not I shouldn't be immune to just a lot but everything soon changed y'all everything soon changed and with God's love and willing power it'll happen it will happen very 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 soon so yeah so um also one of the things back to my makeup the one of the things she got me was this liquid eyeliner by hard candy and how do you open this you just pull it oh you just yeah you just pull it oh it's like a little pen okay this is cute and i didn't know how i wanted to do it hmm Ooh, this is the start of the show, y'all. Oh, this gonna be cute. But it's like, damn, I can't even like. I'm over here about to tap back Yo, in, but nigga, tap back in. in, but again, but tap, 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 tap in. I'm about to tap back in. Okay, so how am I, am I supposed to shake it or something? Like, how am I supposed to get more out? Oh, you are supposed to shake it. Oh. I hate when I do eyeliner. And I don't do it the way it's supposed to be. How do you get more out? And then I'm going to put, like, little dots right here. This is cute, y'all. Ooh. I think the liner should be thick for this look. It's gonna be a little difficult, but. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, y'all, this liner has a hard time coming out. And it's just like, y'all see how it's coming on me? It's like, what? 
interesting eh? and it dries so quickly it's like but yeah so the eyes are done the face is almost done too y'all so but yeah let me get the rest of my face together but yeah y'all i'm gonna be moving soon and i've actually you know found a place and everything put a down payment on it and hopefully no ain't no hopefully it will be mine okay that's just it okay so another gem that my friend got me was this milk highlighter and this one is called iced flex highlighter slash illuminator flex i think it's called iced and y'all this is just Y'all, hmm. let me put this on my Jesus. I said I gotta stop saying Jesus. Look at this, and it's not like too much, but that's up. Y'all see that when it hit the light, it's like bling bling pow. I got my little highlighter brush, and we just gonna zip it. Oh, she a little. Hello. Oh, y'all. I know this holiday is going to be bomb on me. I'm going to make sure I place it in the right, uh, you know, right there. Just, boom. Oh. Y'all, this motherfucking highlighter, right here. But, y'all, this highlighter is bomb. I'm not used to the white, but this one is bomb. She also gave me, she also gave me a pretty vulgar resting, well, nesting bitch face, face palette. I never heard of pretty vulgar, but she gave me this and it has um, two blushes, I think two highlighters and two bronzers. And this is how the palette looks. So cute. So I think I'm going to go in with Ego. Just a little bit. Just to mix these highlighters together. See how Ego sits on me. Because I think I should have used a yellow highlighter for this look. Not a white one. But I really just wanted to try that one. This yellow one is nice. Mm. This yellow, this bronzy one is really nice. Now, I'm about to be... Shining bright like a diamond. I'm gonna go put on my eyelashes actually, and then I'll be right back. Yeah, so my eyelashes is on. I hate it like when one eyelash make your eye look completely different. But yeah, so I picked up. I seen these in commercial, and I was like, "Ooh, these is cute. Like they glosses. I like how the style look, and it just was so cute." So I picked up these two. I think I'm gonna go get all of them. But these were the two that I saw that I feel like was going to match me. These are the Maybelline New York Lifter Gloss. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which is, I don't know if it's good for my lips or not. But yeah, it has it in it. And these are just really cute. Look, y'all. They're just so cute. Like, these are just so cute. Like, just really cute. I like them. So, I tried on both of them. But I think I'm going to put this one on today. This one is Topaz number 009. And it's just cute. This one without a fancy lip gloss. Her first one that came out. The first original one. This one is around here. These are literally like $9. Literally. Nine dollars. Okay. Okay. I wish I had a brown lip liner, but I don't. So, gotta work with what we got. What we got? E y'all. I'm about to fix my hair, change my shirt, and we're gonna close out this video. Okay, y'all. I have my little outfit on, but. 
I forgot that I wanted to do. I always forget the under eye. No one ever reminds me like, oh, Lisa, don't forget your under eye. You're always forgetting it. So I'm going to put a little brown my under eye. Put a little brown. Smoke out my under eye. If y'all get what I'm seeing. And I'm using my NYX bronzer first. I mean, my LX foundation powder first. Okay, babe, so this is the finished look. My little lime green dress that I had a long time ago. I don't know why I didn't wear this for the summer. I think because it's too short, and I just, I didn't feel like wearing no short-ass dress outside. But put on my little lime green dress, and y'all, this highlighter is motherfucking bomb. Both sides, it's just bomb, but yes. I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like I always say, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I thank y'all so much for supporting me. And I kind of opened up a little bit in this video about me and my life. And I hope that was a good little teaser because I have a lot more to come. I'm just getting started. The greatness is just beginning. So stay tuned for more. And I love y'all.